This is the result of my Blade 350 QX2 uh, customization. After a significant impact, that is what's left of the body. You can see it snapped off. Okay. <clears throat> That's what agility mode um, will bring to your life. We have upgraded the firmware and I bought the body for the Blade 350 QX3. <laughs> Blade 350 QX3. The battery cover, by the way, from the QX2 fits perfectly. Um, I might paint that or something because the color is, sorry about the focus, slightly different. So far, I pulled all the guts out and everything is just kind of laying here because I decided that while I was at it, I would add the QX3 GPS antenna mast. So I purchased that while I was at it. And I decided to go with the QX3 body so I didn't have to drill holes or anything else. So far everything fits. The motherboard is down in there. Bolts in fine. The battery uh, box is going to go right in the holes just like it's designed. So now I just have to figure out how to install this. The first thing I did is took the old antenna and it was hot glued onto this circuit board. This would be the right rear leg. So this antenna was hot glued. I just popped the glue off and pulled it free. So in this first step, I'm just going to take this little sponge, drop it in place right there. I don't know if that's what it's for, but it's going to work for that. Then take the wire, feed it right down through the center of the mast. And this fits perfectly there. Then cover just goes on and clicks in place. See, it's just that easy. <laughs> Keep working it. And there it is. That's the deal. The next step is going to be installing the base of the antenna. Um, this is going to be your basic orientation. Turn it right side up, maybe that will help. So that this is your flex point, so that it can click and lock in place. Basically the antenna wire just flows through. And you have this pin. The pin, you can see, is burled on one end. That's going to lock it in place when you push it all the way through. Uh, I'm going to put that end in last. Make sure your holes are aligned underneath. And you can see the pin actually push through that first part relatively easily. And I'll just have to use a press or something to get it lined up well. <clears throat> and the next step is just using these two screws that were supplied. This cable is just going to thread down through that hole. Two screws line up and you just install it underneath. Two screws go in and it'll be on. In this step I found out what that little piece of sponge was for. Um, this little piece, piece of sponge that I thought might be a vibration dampener earlier that I put in the top of the mast. Yeah, well, it doesn't go there. <clears throat> Again, after removing this piece carefully from this circuit board, this piece, you remove this piece from the battery holder. Then we just carefully split this foil and open it up. And hey, look, a little spongy thing. So at this point, we can just, and I'm going to need two hands to do this, but we can unplug here and then we'll take our new mast piece 
and that's going to plug in right there. So I'm going to hold off on doing that until I put all the rest of this crap together. But <clears throat> I didn't want to put it together and take it all apart again. So I decided I would get this far first. One of the joys that I get to fix is another piece of the damages. That's where the LED used to be connected. Uh, so i got to figure that piece out as well. I've reattached the antenna piece. That turned out to be a little bit of a treat, but uh, just don't force it. Um, once it lines up, it'll just click right in like it's nothing. So, so the next step is to I'll just place this pad right here. That's how it was originally. <clears throat> my pad will go there, and then I'll take my new foil and wrap that thing. Um, I figure if one layer is good, then two layers is better. So I'm actually going to leave the old foil on and um, wrap this over the top. And I'm going to place it. Oh. I'm going to place it right here, uh, right in the top of the battery box. It, this thing fits in there like it's made to go there. So here's the new antenna piece, all wrapped up. Um, this tape I found isn't super sticky, so I actually left myself just a little corner folded over right there, so that, heaven forbid, and knock on wood, if I ever have to do this again, I'll be able to get in there without destroying the tape. And then that's just gonna, I'm just gonna put this piece right in there. And I think I'm just gonna stick just a touch of hot glue on it, um, just to <coughs> keep everybody out of trouble. Then this bad boy, you just carefully, that's the one thing that's going to be a little bit of a challenge now, is your top piece is actually connected, but then that's just going to go right on there and everything's going to be good as new. So there it is, we've gone from the QX2350 old and busted version to the fully updated and sexy QX3. Um, everything fit. I was surprised truly at how easy it was to do. Uh, the mast is completely hooked up. There's not much to do but flip it on, which I haven't done yet, but I did put a battery in and we're going to try. <clears throat> the props that I've chosen, there's an awesome video out there by a, a guy, 7demo7, that's called Blade 350 QX Propeller Shootout 8 Props Tested. And <clears throat> these are the props, the 9 by 4.7 uh, props that I'm going to put on it. Don't forget that you need two pusher props and two standard props. And these APC props are super durable. I had APC props on before it, but they were uh, 8 by 4.5. And I don't know. I didn't really like them, and his video says these are great, so I'm going to trust them. So there it is. There's only one thing to do. So I did get satellite lock um, before I broke it inside. So just for the heck of it, I just want to see what's going to happen. So the battery's in it. We'll turn it on. See what it does. Well, the LED works, so I guess my solder job was okay. It's thinking. So, let's see if I can get my radio set up here. Warning, throttle high. Thank you. Bind failed. Yes, it did. Binding. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Well, it bound. It's something. Got a little green light action. And we have satellite lock. And what was that? I don't know, 15 seconds at night in the dark in my living room with all the blinds shut. <laughs> I'll take it. So nothing left to do than throw the props on and take it for a run. Okay, so here we are on a mildly breezy day, getting ready to test the all new 
upgraded QX2 that's now a Blade 350 QX3. It's bound right away, immediately got a satellite lock. Didn't take any time at all. So it's in stability mode right now on a little bit breezy day. Let's see what happens. Prop spun up immediately. Let's take her off. There's an X on the ground so that I can test the return to home function and see what happens. Give a little throttle. Seems pretty rock steady. Flat around just a little bit. Take it out a little way and flip for the return to home button now. And it did good and shut down. I drew an X on the ground <clears throat> before I took off. And it is literally about six inches from the center of the X. So we'll fire up again, take her a little up higher and a little further out and see what she does. Still in stability mode. So we'll turn in some circles and confuse it. Fly it in all different directions. Hopefully without crashing. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it into turn to home. So we'll switch modes here and do a couple of high speed passes and show you punch out rates. So here's the punch out. And a little flyby. The new props are super stable and Maybe we have gained a little speed. Not sure. But I know this thing hauls ass. in agility mode. I'm thinking it'll be some time before I go there again. So there you have it. The upgraded Blade 350QX.